Hi, this is Greg, Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Lamar F8 Series trailer with the gooseneck upgrade, what we refer to as the GF8. Shown here is a 102 by 19 plus 5, 24 feet overall, 19 flat, 5 foot dovetail. It's got a few upgrades. The most uh, important one would be the full width ramps option at the back called Rhino Ramps by Lamar. Gives you full width loading also gives you the ability to stand the ramp up we also upgrade the floor on our trailers to a 16 inch on center floor cross member instead of the standard 24. let's take a walk around the trailer show you some of the features a trailer like this is going to weigh in about 47 to 4800 pounds it's going to give you a net legal payload of about 9200 plus tongue weight tongue weight in the gooseneck average is about 22 percent or 3,000 pounds fully loaded it's going to give you a, a net legal payload in the 11.5. If you do a real good job balancing your weight, you can get upward of 12,000 pounds. So up front, it's got an I-beam tongue or an I-beam neck as well as an I-beam vertical. It's a 12-inch vertical. It's got an integrated front toolbox, and it's got dual jacks. You also see a pair of side steps. Also on this side, you'll see the three sticker, which is Lamar's three year structural warranty. You also notice up front the bullet LED lights. <clears throat> Couple of the features we like on Lamar's gooseneck deck overs, they do the neck gussets, both from the vertical to the horizontal, from the vertical to the side rail. <clears throat> this gives a lot of additional strength to the trailer. Some of your more economical trailers that aren't far from this particular price point would just have two pieces of channel in the back of the neck. Doesn't do as good of a job <coughs> supporting as the gussets would. Also on what we call the deluxe model, or this model here, a spare tire is included. We also stock this particular unit in a similar configuration in what we call the economy, which would be no front toolbox and no spare tire. So a gooseneck coupler is, again, optioned on this particular unit. You've got your safety chains. They not only use a sealed harness, but this is a cold weather rated harness. Okay, again with this one, you do have the spare tire in the neck. Underneath the neck, you'll see they've got a, uh, a under, under neck bridge there. So they've got a gusset between the two. That's something we don't often see. This trailer is powder coated. Uh, we do some in black, some in charcoal. <laughs> Normally on black, we'll do silver mod wheels on the charcoal we'll do a black wagon wheel two by eight treated decking is standard on the side rail they do stake pocket rub rails and chain spools so between each of the stake pockets you've got a chain spool or some refer to as a pipe spool also notice on this trailer it's got a channel side rail so your side rail here is made out of channel not uh something we see your angle or flat steel Channel is pretty well the industry standard. Most of your household names are going to use channel there, but that's something worth checking out if you're looking at other trailers. You also notice they use tread plate over the fender boxes. Lamar uses a Dexter axle. It's got the new forward adjusting or never adjust brakes. And the trailer here is equipped with easy lube hubs. If you're not familiar, you'd simply pull the black cap off. You can self-service your bearings. Now, Lamar also uses a 916 stud, a little bit heavier duty than the half inch industry standard. They also use a slipper spring suspension. And then in the center there, you see the grease zert. That would be what's referred to as a wet bolt kit. Generally an option, they do it standard. Main frame on the trailer is an eight inch I-beam. And then again, structural channel cross members on a 24 center or standard. We option ours to a 16 on center. Again, it is a structural channel. Much of the industry nowadays is using a form steel or a fab steel, much like a stake pocket. This is structural channel. Okay, let's head toward the back. So this is option with the full width ramps or what Lamar calls the Rhino ramp. Standard would be two standups. We also do quite a few with two traditional flip over ramps. One unique thing of the full width ramps would be one, you've got full width loading. Two, the trailer ramp folds over flat and gives you a flat 24 foot deck. Now another nice feature about this particular unit is 
You can also stand the ramp up in the position that you see here if you want a full 24 foot of loading. Something like that would come in useful if you had a 21 foot or so full size truck. Wouldn't fit on the 19 foot flat, but if you stand the ramp up, it'll fit. A couple of the things that we really like about Lamar for this price point, because they are a little cheaper than some of the other models that we carry, they use a tubular bumper at the back. So you'll notice that's about a three by eight tube bumper. It's a nice design. We see a lot of channel or uh, fab steel back here. Tube bumper just uh, does a much better job protecting your wiring. Another nice feature we see on Lamar, if you notice, this is an I-beam frame the whole way back. A lot of times you get I-beam or channel on the main and then a fab steel rear tail. Notice they put a gusset where the beaver tail breaks off and then the tail continues to be I-beam the rest of the way back. Also notice this is not a wood beaver tail but a self-cleaning uh, angle iron steel dovetail. Now another nice feature on the Lamar, these full width ramps, I'm going to go ahead and put this down. They're spring assisted both ways. Some of the ramps in the industry are only sprung one way. This has a double set of hinges so it's sprung both ways. So again it continues the self cleaning beaver tail. Now this setup's got a five foot beaver tail with a five foot set of ramps, gives you a nice low load angle. So again, two main features on this that are optional would be the 16 on center floor and the full width ramp setup. Now this is a true 14,000 pound GVW trailer. Some manufacturers will take two 7K axles and count in some tongue weight. Lamar doesn't do that practice. So they take the two 7Ks. As I said previous, you're gonna pick up about 3,000 pound tongue weight fully loaded if you have your weight appropriately centered over each axle. This comes in a variety of different sizes, but this here is the most common, the 19 plus 5, 24 foot. Very handy for a lot of different purposes. If you have any questions on the trailer, give us a ring, 717-220-4220, or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.